All right, everyone, so we are back and uh, we're gonna get this box installed. So I already drilled mine into the wall. I only used two anchors because I don't know if this is gonna work. When you're gonna decide to use it, there's an anchor on the top I would use, obviously, that one, and then put the two in where I put the two, and then you'll have three, and it won't be um, as flimsy. But this is gonna be indoor, and right now, this is just for me to test it, and when I know it works, then I'll drill the rest of it in and make it all secure. So. I already cut out the one side of the grommet. They're very easy to cut. These are the rubber grommets. So this is the wire from my air conditioner, uh, 240 volt. So we are gonna follow the 240 volt. See, application controlling one 240 volt. That's the one we're gonna follow. So that's the one I'm doing. So I'm gonna go in the side right here and I'm gonna go in the left. These grommets, they give you extras and they're um, very easy to cut. You just cut them in like an X with a sharp blade. If you're using a dull blade, you're gonna have a problem, then I don't know what to tell you, but um, that's it. If you wanna make this bigger, you can obviously make it bigger with whatever and yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna push this in. Um, this is the one coming down. Um, this is coming down from the air conditioner, this one right here. So let's twist this, make these nice and tight so they go in the terminals because you're gonna wanna have a nice good connection. Um, well, you always wanna have a good connection. I don't know, Yeah, I always wanna have a good connection because if you starve appliances or you starve anything, um, you know, it usually burns out quicker, doesn't last as long, and then you gotta throw it out. So there's one right there, and then here is the cord. See, I just cut the cord in half. This is a, a 240 volt cord. Here it is right here. Um, it's not a lot of amperage at this thing. Pulls, I don't even know the amperage. I think it's only like 12 or 13 amps at 240 volt. So it's not like a killer, um, you know, amp draw that you have to worry about, which is a good thing. So, so we're gonna put these all together, wire it up, and you're gonna see me wire it. Now the ground, uh, I'm not gonna put the ground onto the box because I already, um, that's useless to me because I don't have this going into steel or a stud. So that ground is really doing nothing because all it is is grounded to the plastic box. Um, so really I'm just gonna wire nut these to get together just to let you know, the only ground is on the box. There's no ground uh, specifically that's on that controller. So I guess you don't really have to worry about that. I mean, you have a power surge, you have a power surge, it's gonna break. I don't know what to tell you. I have seen power surges and they bust stuff up. Uh, so it depends on your area. So let's get this installed because we're gonna do the jumper. Okay, so, all right, so coming from the unit, I mean, coming from the wall, uh, which is the power coming in is gonna be this. So let's twist these nice and tight. I think these look a little bit too long. So I'm probably gonna have to cut them. Yeah, these look very long. I mean, sometimes I just fold them over and stick them in. So we'll just do it that way because I don't like the way the wires look so much. All right, so first things first, this is going into the uh, coming, this is the power coming in. So you're going to want that in your common one. Oh, so open these up a good amount. I didn't open mine up enough, I guess. You probably don't have to open these ones up because you're only putting one wire in those, but all right, so that's common one which uh, we got the wire in, and that should be in deep enough. What an idiot I am. Look, I already messed up. This one goes in the common, and then the jumper goes in that common. Okay, so we're gonna stick these two together. So now these two are gonna be together. Okay, so let's tighten this on. Tighten on the L. Make sure the connections are good. Nothing you can pull out. Okay, always make sure you do this without the power on, obviously. Okay, so it's gonna be common too. And then we're gonna put the jumper. The blue jumper is gonna go in on that one. All right, so that's my power coming in. Got the ground. Common is jump to end to give the uh, timer its power. There's a little bit of wire hanging out of the bottom for the jumper, which is really good. If you guys do electrical, test for uh, electric, whatever, uh, you can put your, um, I'd be able to put my probe, you know, my, my, my leads on there and I'll be able to get a good test on the side, even though I gotta look for the, the damn thing. Anyway, I don't know where it is. All right, so let's get this next one. I'm gonna do the same thing because these are pretty long. I'm gonna fold them as well. And um, obviously make sure, you know, they look intact because 
The less copper you have, the higher your amperage will be because it's harder for it to transfer. You know, you're, you're pretty much just gonna be starving your, um, your appliance, whatever you got this hooked up to. All right, so this is normally open one. Okay. Now the reason I got this timer is because I tried to use 120 volt coil contactors. And the problem is when you're using these with a smart switch, it doesn't give you the right um, wave to your, um, you know, the coil. And then when you, when these pull in, they make a loud humming noise. So I couldn't do anything about that except try to get something like this. So that's kind of the setup. That's exactly what you guys see. This is, uh, like I said, this is the plug. So that's going here. And then this is going up to the AC unit. So all this is supposed to do is go in very easily like this. See, bam, and it snaps in and we're done. And then there's a screw that goes in on the bottom, but I'm not gonna put on the bottom yet uh, because um, I wanna make sure that there's electricity there and stuff like that. So we'll be right back with Glenn Velvet Reviews, obviously. All right, everyone, we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews. I did plug in my, I plugged it in right there and then the blue light started blinking and now it's a solid blue. It did blink, I'm sorry I didn't uh, get that on video, but it was blinking. So we're gonna, you have to download the Smart Life app, which you would use this little thing for. It's called the Smart Life app. It's in our, uh, you know, it's in the store, very easy to get. So we need to press it for five or 10 seconds is what it says. All right, so we are on the app and I finally got to this menu. It says add device and that's blinking like that. So let's see how we can get on that. So add device. Um, all right, so we tried to add the box and that's what's going on. That's what it says. And it is adding it to it. It's doing the little thing. And now it says it is set up. All right, let's see if it works. Here we go. So say you're out and you're at your store. Let's see. Wait, you can't hit the button. We're gonna set it up more than that. This is just the, the simple instructions. All right, so we're gonna see if this works and you're gonna hear the air conditioner turn on if it does work. So we're gonna turn it low to cool and money saver, we're gonna put no and we're gonna do that and my mom's gonna turn it on from her phone. So go for it. And now no humming. So you can turn it on from work whenever you want. So this is kind of what it looks like. That's the end result. That means it's on. If you hit that button again, it'll turn off. I don't wanna short cycle the air conditioner because it's not good for the compressor. But if we turn that, it'll turn off the air conditioner and you did see it turn on. It's uh, blinking red, I'm uh, not blinking, it's a solid red, which means that it is sending power to there and it is working. So this way now my mom can turn on the air conditioner from work and that's it. So that's it pretty much for the setup of what you can expect and what it looks like. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community. All right, everybody enjoy it. Be safe. I'm out. Bye-bye.